So this is build up your understanding question 13 from conservation of momentum. The name in Pathfinder book is given method of impulse and momentum and system of particles. So I've written only this much. And now let us see what is the question. Question is there are two identically small balls A and B, say mass M, they're connected by a light inextensible string of length L. You can see in the diagram, they are placed on the frictionless horizontal flow. So there is no friction here. With what velocity U must the ball B is projected? So we need to project this now. Vertically upward so that the ball A leaves the floor. Acceleration of free fall is G. So let us see, it's a very, very good question. Very conceptual question. So in this now, suppose this is just able to, this ball A is just able to uh, reach to this point, right? So it is just about to leave contact. Then, Suppose velocity is V2 right now. Here also velocity will be V2 from the string constraint along the length velocity should be same. If this velocity is V1, then this velocity will also be V1 from momentum conservation. Both velocities are V1. Fine. Now, first thing which you can see, we can write energy conservation and for minimum U, V2 is equal to zero. So when it is reaching here, it has lost its velocity, it has just lost its velocity. So V2 is almost zero. So V2 is zero, we can do energy conservation. Energy conservation will give us half mu square. And this is half mv1 square into two plus mgl. Fine. So from here, if we cancel m and all, you get this equation. Now, again, for this to leave contact, for this to leave contact, if it is leaving contact, then there is no normal here. If there is no normal, then external force on this system is only gravity, which is 2mg, which is 2mg, because mass is m for both the balls. So acceleration of center of mass is g downward, right? Okay. So if acceleration of center of mass is g downward, now let us see that what will be the acceleration of this ball with respect to center of mass. With respect to center of mass, this will be rotating in a circle of radius l by 2. So with respect to center of mass, its acceleration is so let me write here, with respect to center of mass, it's V2 square, V square by R divided by L by two. But center of mass is moving down with G. So it's net acceleration is V square, V1 square by L by two minus G. Again, that acceleration also have equated to zero because this would leave contact for minimum, we are calculating for minimum U. So if I put this also as zero for minimum U, then you get V1 square as GL by two. Now this V1 square, if I substitute here, then you get, uh, US root 3 CL, right? So it's a very, very conceptual question and highly probable question for J advance. So thanks for watching. If you have uh, learned something new, then please uh, give a like to this video and please subscribe to this channel also. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. We'll meet again.